Don't worry, I am not dead. So, haven't been uploading for a long time, and I guess I might as well do a, like, a versus video. Like, comment down below what I should be doing for my next sort of videos, because I'm not really sure what I want to do. Because that's why I haven't been uploading until I've got two things here. Now, I know I'm a bit short onto the stick here. Oh, ugh, ugh. Oh my god, the, why does it have to be 20%? So, anyway, so everyone that is about fidget spinners here, you can like do tricks with them, all that. But, do you know what originated from them? It's one of these, a fidget cube. Now, basically, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe what are the qualities of them all. And basically, I'm going to say which one's my favourite. So, let's quickly get straight into the First video. We'll start off with the original. We have the fidget cube here, which is a six-sided fidget device. So, I'm going to go through what all of the different sorts of fidgeting devices there are on this and what you can do with it. So, we're going to start here with the five buttons you see here. There are, if you listen carefully, there are three ones that make a noise. And then there are two silent ones, so in case you want to bring it to school and you don't want to get hurt and all that. Pretty decent. Now right here is just like a little gap in between, which supposedly if you rub it, it makes you feel like karma. I don't know. <laughs> now here we have the, uh, the switch. It's basically a... A general switch. It's satisfying. It just makes you want to go on forever. Okay, I really should stop doing it. Anyway. Uh, what are the other ones? Oh, yes. Here we have uh, a ball sort of one that you can push in and make a... So you can roll it. But then you also have these three... Like things that you'd have in like a pin lock or something like that. For like your bike. Which I guess are more... This one focuses like a lot more on spinning and hmm, once again decent. Now we have only two more. We have here the spinner, which is just spins around, just like keeps your hand busy while it's silent, also, which is good. And yeah, and now we finally have the top one, which is kind of like a joystick for like PlayStation and anything like that. But it can also be like pulled out. So if I, so yeah. Now let's move on to the fidget spinner then. Now onto the fidget spinner. Now, as you can see here, it has three. I mean, it has one bearing in the middle here, and three different other bearings which you could use. But at first, it seems like oh, so it spins. What else can it do? You can like. Hold it up in one finger, on one, like that, oh, naughty, um, but also you can pop the uh, the bearings out to make it like uneven, which can, I guess, make it cooler, don't ask me, let me just quickly, See, look, it has two, but one, and it feels really uneven. Now, I haven't been able to get this one out, but... There you go. See, look. Without any of them in, it's basically... It makes it a lot less weightless. So you can customise them a lot. You can, like, spray paint them. Mine's just, like, the general red one. You can get... There are many different... You can get many different colours for the uh, fidget spinner. And, yeah. Let's go on to what I believe would be the best one. What do I think is better, the cube or the spinner? So, I'm just going to do one more general overview of them, just like, yeah. So here, the fidget spinner is... It just makes you want to do it a lot longer, if you know what I mean. It's that sort of satisfaction that, if you do it a lot, it makes you, like, want to do it even more now. There you go. And the same with the fidget cube. Well, but it, but the one that I find better is obviously the fidget cube, which is why I believe, because there's a lot more things to do on it. So, so comment down below, so two things. A, what you want me to do in my next video, and 
B, what you also believe. So, I'd like to see you all better. Oh!